excuse me, <laughs> drinking my Moringa tea this a.m. I'm cleansing out because I had a little mucus going on. However, I want to always, as always, send, send you guys peace, blessings, and abundance um, on this beautiful Sunday, the day of the sun. So happy sunrise to you all here from Atlanta, Georgia, ATL. I'm literally over here about to bump the table and stuff. My bad. I didn't mean to shake the table. Okay from my reality tv show days excuse me um so today guys i really want to get into um talking a little bit about some of the things that the ancestors used to cleanse out negativity and also to ward off negativity from our sacred spaces sacred space being you know the temple that you are currently inhabiting and it also means whatever place that you are um staying or living and so this particular video is going to be called Brooms, Incense, and Herbs. Oh my. <laughs> Excuse my silliness. So um, I actually received this message this AM from, the, from my higher self. Uh, basically telling me um, or reminding me as to why um, our melanated ancestors uh, utilize brooms, incense, and herbs. Um, on a spiritual level not just on what we know on the physical level like for instance we know that we normally use a broom to clean out the house like to sweep um, the floor and to sweep up trash debris and things like that of that nature and I actually did that this a.m. because I just returned back to this place uh, that I stayed at for the whole month of August and when I came here like I, I wasn't feeling like 100% myself like I was feeling a little bit like I needed an energy boost and so um like something in the energy was kind of like dragging or pulling me down a little so today I literally got up and I got the cat situated and fed them and then after I fed them I just started sweeping and just feng shuiing at the place and of course watering the beautiful plants because she has life vegetation in here which is a beautiful thing and um also, I had something help happen last night, which I'll briefly talk about. It wasn't a bad experience. However, it was an experience that could have been negative if I had reacted in a negative way. And also, if I had allowed that negative entity um, to um, inhabit my energy. And so, basically, um, I received a text and a phone call from a young lady that I stayed with through Airbnb. She, you know, she's a sweet girl and everything. And I, um, I saw the call come through, but I was watching a movie called um, Moon M U N E on Netflix. It's an animated movie, and so um, I didn't answer at the time because the movie was about to go off, and I didn't want to stop it. I was like, oh, I could, I'll call her back after the movie goes off. So, even though part of me was feeling like I didn't want to call her, I was like, go ahead, just go ahead and call her. You know, uh, be. This is that, that part I have to work on myself about that, that part about being nice and kind. Be, go Be nice. Call her back and everything. You you didn't have a horrible experience with her. She's not a mean person. You actually got along with her for the most part. Some things that me and her don't, are not on the same level about, however, you know, she was nice to me. So I call her back and it's after, a little bit after eight. Get on the phone with her. And she automatically wants to ask about my living situation. I am currently on a houseless transition. And, you know, the universe has definitely blessed me and taken care of me um, so that I am never without a roof over my head. Like, I'm always, you know, good. And um, she started asking about money and how am I making money and all these questions, these personal questions when you don't, you are not even, it's, cause, and it's not coming out of a place of concern. It's coming out of uh coming out of a negative way and the reason i could tell that because of course you can always feel people's energy and i definitely can feel people's energy and um she was smoking her cigarette because she smoked cigarettes and she was talking to me on whatsapp and i saw her eyes like start to move like really funny like like possession like like something that took over kind of she could she was trying to straighten them out but she couldn't do it so i was like okay I know what this is. This is um, kind of like, this is like a little attack trying to go on. And it, it honestly came because of me. Because I knew, um, like I said, I wasn't feeling myself earlier that day. And 
I started to almost go through through a little bit of anxiety um, and have to remind myself that I am the abundance. However, I had already slipped and it had went through my thoughts and it had already penetrated my heart. So I manifested this situation with this young lady. And so I had to go ahead and end the phone call because I saw that she was, you know, digging a little deep into digging, trying to dig a little bit too deep into um, my financials and my abundance and her not knowing who she is. She's unconscious to who she is at this moment. So she um, was uh, literally attempting to push that energy to me and um, I wasn't having any of it. So I had to, I mean, she even, she was like, what are you, a Scientologist? Like, yeah. So it was really weird. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to just go ahead and end this conversation. And as soon as I ended that conversation, I went and um, decided to do some meditation because after I got off the phone with her, my phone started acting really weird. Like it, it froze up. I couldn't do anything with it. I couldn't get it to lock. I couldn't get it to close out of WhatsApp. I couldn't, um, it, it wouldn't do anything. So I just put it on the charger and let it be. And then I went into um, the meditation room and I literally, I have it set up. I, I did a video before I, I was speaking on when I got the Sewn Moldavite in August of this year. I got some information and overwhelmingly felt the need to create a circle with my stones um, in, in the area where I was going to sit to do my meditation. And it was... Um, basically told to me by um source by my higher self that it was to basically magnify the energies of my meditation session and magnify the energies of those stones so that was the information i got at the time so i just literally had a circle of stones i didn't have it was the the order was pretty much just how i felt that the stones should go about and i know this is off subject i'm gonna get into the subject soon i promise guys um i'm just yeah going off script for a minute and um, that's how I set it up. So I just would go and I would probably have like every other stone be a type of protection stone. And then I would have some stones that were more for like higher chakras, have stones for lower chakras, but just have a mix of um, stones. Sometimes I would have stones that only um, that were only for a particular um, chakra. Like maybe I want to focus on my heart chakra or whatever. Um, however, last night, and actually I started this last week, I think. Yeah, I think last week, yeah. I started to divide the circle into four quadrants. So I had the stones going in a circle. And then I also had four lines going from north, south, east, and west. And the four lines, I utilized my black stones and then my um, clear and white crystals um, in order to um, give me some type of purification and protection, right, in my circle. And again, that was another um, download, as universal frequencies would say. That was another download from, you know, the higher self telling me that this was another, this was uh, the next step to elevate my meditation circle. So last night, I took it to a whole another level. After that conversation, I was feeling like, oh my goodness, I could feel like this was something that was really trying to bring me down. Because, and which means, on the on the positive note. On the positive side, that something big is about to happen in my life. So I was like, okay, let me get into my meditation. And I do not meditate a lot at night. However, I'm really glad I did. And this is going to be a practice going forward because it was so powerful. Um, and then the third thing I did with this circle is I got four um, candles. And I placed two um, on the outside, um, two on both sides. On, opposite sides going this way like horizontal and two going vertical and it was two white um, candles and two red candles so the red signified fire and that was like burning up that negative energy turning it into smoke and sending it up so it can be transmuted and then the white was for purification right so three just three steps for that circle so I, I, I lit the the candles and I sat down and started to um, meditate and when I tell you I had the most powerful meditation session, like I, I got emotional, I was tearing up, but no tears came from my eyes. That's how it was really, really powerful. It just, I was, oh, I felt overwhelmed, overwhelmingly emotional about it. And I felt the power from source, like moving through me and 
making clearing out some things and making some things happen within me. So today I woke, I, I, I arose, I woke up like just ready to, to get to cleaning. So that I said all that to say, I, it, it made me get ready for cleaning. And one other cool thing that happened after I finished my meditation, right? I actually think I'm just going to turn to talk about my meditation, then do the, um, the brooms, incense and herbs on my, on the next one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Cause I pretty much turned this into that one. Um, a video about the meditation, but anywho, after I, f I finished the meditation and I was, you know, still sitting there because the energy was at, was so powerful and so strong. It, it take me a, a moment to get grounded. So when I have a meditation session that strong, I know I need to just sit there and allow my body to just come back, you know, down to, to earth basically. And, um, one of the cats, he decided that, which he does this all the time, he'll work, walk counterclockwise through my circle, like around me. Normally, he'll just like, you know, lay down in the circle, right? This time, he didn't do that. He actually came and, and sat in between my legs and he went to sleep. And he slept there for a good, uh, almost 10 minutes. And finally, you know, he got up and everything. And that's uh, when I was able to blow out my candles and go ahead and just end my cool down part of my meditation session but when i it was so powerful i am going to um i'll put uh the information in my video as far as again like the circle it doesn't matter how many stones that you put in the circle you go by what you feel how i do mines is i do it by, uh, based upon the four elements which is i can, i found out it's more of a shaman's way of doing it that's um Something I started doing last week as well. I started changing my circle to not just be, okay, let me just do, you know, whatever particular chakra. I start doing my circle based upon the elements. So earth, air, fire, and water. And then in the middle is considered to me like ether because I have the black and the, the, the white stones. And um, they're pointing at me basically from the four directions, north, south, east, and west. And... Um, I have my red stones for fire. I have my blue stones for water. I use the purple stones for air, which is like my amethyst. And then um, I use like my brown stones for earth. Okay, so uh, I set that up and actually I kind of still have it up. So I'm going to walk you guys over here so you can see it. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around. So yeah, this is the circle that I set up and you can see how I have my stones all um, all situated basically. And like I said, I have my earth stones, I have my air stones, um, I have my fire stones and I have my water stones and um, they represent the elements and they also represent the chakras. So yeah, I use that every time now or for the most part every time. Okay, so um, after I did that, you saw where I have the lines going um, straight uh, from the pillow. I um, put the candles on the ends of those lines. And um, like I said, I had four candles, which also represent those four elements. And to me, the number four signifies the physical body. So it's, it's protecting that physical body. And then the... Um, directional lines going into me is more protecting of the um the uh spiritual body even though they're four lines however it's that the energy from all the stones that's protecting the spiritual body as well as the physical body so yeah just like i said it was really really powerful and to do it at night and i also lit uh lit incense and I'm going to talk about in the next video how you utilize incense for protection of your energy so like I said because of that conversation and because of the way I have been feeling definitely that meditation session has cleared out a lot and brought me back up to more of my positive energy state because it's very important during the and crucial during this time for um loves to stay in a more positive state and the reason being is because things are manifesting in the physical now it's not just us meditating and being on our, high, our higher self shit and um, keeping, you know, this mind clear of all that clutter and that bullshit uh, and just being in your higher 
um, chakras and stuff like that. It, it's, this is really getting into the balance of it. This is balancing your yin and yang, your higher and lower chakras with the gateway, which is your heart chakra, which is the gateway to or passageway, you could say, from um, or doorway to your higher chakras. It reminds me of the of when Jesus said that no man can get to um, heaven without going through him. And you can't get to heaven without going through your heart chakra. Okay, so yeah. Um, anywho, yeah, I, I just really um, didn't do this video for that. So I'm going to title it something else. <laughs> I'll title it something else. However, I just felt the need to share that with you guys. If you ever feel like someone is trying to suck your negative, um, um, suck your positive energy from you and are, are trying to feed you with negative energy, um, even though you know that things on the outside of you are coming from things you have to work on on the inside of you, and I know that I initiated that, definitely go ahead and meditate. Like, if you get off a phone call and it don't go your way or you don't like the way the energy was going, Get off that, first off, hang up the phone. Tell the person you got to go. You ain't got to be mean about it. Just, you know, good talking to you. Or, you know, um, it was nice to see your face. However, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do what I got to do. You handle your business. Then go ahead and meditate. Get Ground yourself and, and, get your, and also uplift yourself to a higher place. Go ahead and find that happy balance. Whatever you need to do, just feel... The energy coming from yourself, your intuition, guiding you and telling you what you need to do. And that's what I always do. I don't look up videos on how people meditate and things anymore. I used to do that. I'm getting more into my own shaman self and knowing myself because I know I'm a natural heal healer. Um, I can even tell you um, that I... Oh, that's another thing I did. I didn't bring this up in my meditation. Another thing I did, this, speaking of being a natural healer. So I have been, I have recently started, I bought this book. It's called Subtle Energy Techniques. And I got this book because I got some information about another step in my path that I'm supposed to do with being a natural healer and being a shaman. So I was guided to start learning how to deal with energy, with life force energy. And that's really what um, people who do re Reiki or Reiki, they call it in um, Eastern um, countries. But um, that's really what they do. They utilize the life force energy, the, the Ki or the Chi energy, in order to heal the body, whether it be through acupuncture or whether it be through hand healing, which is what I'll do because I know I always knew my hands were powerful. That's why the food that I cook comes out of love because the energy that's coming out my hands is love. So that's why it's very important that you don't eat everybody's food because everybody's not fit, um, preparing or sharing your food with love. That's another subject. So, um, in the meditation um, circle, I started to feel like my neck and my shoulders, I start feeling like the soreness and pressure from the other day from me walking to the train station with this heavy ass bag on my arm, on my shoulders. And I kept switching it. However, both arms were sore. The right was more sore because I had the bag on the right uh, shoulder for the longest. So I started doing my technique that I'm working on and developing and I you know place it on my neck first to uh, work through the tension on my neck not massaging just place my hands on my neck and then I also placed it on my shoulders and then um, any other areas and I placed I left the, my hands on those places for as long as I felt the need to do that this was after meditation okay and I immediately started to feel better in those areas no lie I immediately started to feel better However, when I got up this AM, when I tell you like I touch it and how it's a little bit tender still, a little bit sore, but it is nothing like what I was feeling. Nothing like what I was feeling. So today I'm going to do some more um, healing uh, because I'm starting out working on healing myself it, because it's always best to start with yourself before you start moving to other uh, um, people. And also I'll work on doing some energy healing with one of the cats because he deals with kidney issues. Um, but yeah, guys, it was powerful. Like my, my, um, leg as well, like was feeling like some soreness and tenderness and stuff. So I, I placed my hands on all different places on my body and did some healing. 
And um, another quick story before I end this video. Um, again, I am working on only talking about the past when it is relevant to what I am expressing at the very moment. Um, so I'll go ahead and express that back in 2015, I had found a really big lump underneath my right breast, right? And it had gotten so big that when I touched it with my two fingers like this, I could feel the lump. I didn't have to press on it. I just felt the lump at the bottom of my breast. Freaked me the fuck out. I was still working for the bank at the time. I made an appointment. I was scared as hell. Made an appointment to go get um, a mammogram, I think is what they call it. And to make sure that it wasn't the big C cancer. So when I went and everything, I go to this place and it's all nicely set up, all serene and everything. Considering this, they do that because they know that that is a place uh, where people go for um, the, a disease that kills a lot of people in this country. And um, so a lot of people get scared about that. So they want you to feel calm and at peace. So they make the environment peaceful. You have these nice little white robes to put on. It's literally, I think it's over in Kennesaw or Marietta where, um, near where I'm staying now. So, you know, I go and long story short, they tested me. First off, they, they squeeze your boob in this machine which is very painful so they can take x-rays and shit like all kind of crazy stuff then they take a machine and they go like like um for women who have been pregnant before you know how they do a sonogram and they put the the um instrument over your belly the gel and then that they do that to your boob so she did the to my boob and looked at it and she was like went and talked to someone and then came back and told me everything was good you know basically it wasn't malignant so i was like okay all right Fast forward now, I literally still had, up until the beginning of the year, like it was still a, a pretty, not large size, but it was still bit, um, not tiny, not to me how it should have shrunk. Because she told me, it'll eventually shrink and yada, yada, yada. It hadn't shrunk, so like it sh I would have thought it would have. So one day, I literally just started like touching on it and I just was like I was pulling out because your left hand is the hand that you receive from your right hand is the hand that you send so receive hand um send hand and so I was receiving like I was taking out whatever that negative energy was in my boob so I was just holding it and then I would then send with the right hand this was not even you know, being trained on this, this is not having read any books on healing um, energy or anything like that or none of that natural stuff. This was just me feeling like, okay, I'm tired of this lump being here. I want it to be gone. And then on top of that, I'm lit I'm thinking of this is gone. It's not there. I'm healing it, you know, and now it's barely anything there. It's pretty much gone. And I'm already, um, in my mind, is gone. It's non-existent. So I already know that in the physical manifestation, it's, it's just slower than what happens in the spiritual. Just know that that everything is energy. Your thoughts are energy. Your willpower come from your heart is energy, which is, that's your emotion. This is your thought. This is your emotion, right? So when you put your thought and your emotion together, you create and manifest in the physical, right? So it's already manifesting in, in, in the spiritual part of it, just hovering around and floating. However, it hasn't come together into a physical package to manifest. That's really how you have to look at everything in your life. So basically that's, guys, how I healed my boob. You know what I'm saying? Healed the, or healed the lump that was in my boob that came from me stressing and having anxiety and hating the job that I was at and hating my life and hating my size and hating my hair and hating, 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 hating everything and not being grateful. So that's another thing I want to say. Another thing you should always do with your meditation and you should always just do in life period is practice being grateful for everything. Everything that you're given every day that you wake up everything that you have whether you feel like it's a lot or not you have to see it as abundance you you may not even have a place to stay that you have your name on it as your own house you may not have a car you may not have um the job you want or or the career you want or live the life that you want per se however you have to be practice gratefulness which is an emotion that comes from your heart which makes things manifest quicker Gratefulness makes things manifest on a faster scale because you are um, putting out to the universe that 
you are so thankful and you give thanks for everything that you have. You are not in that whole complaining vibe, which is where a lot of people are at right now. You are living a life full of, of joy and appreciation for everything the universe has given you. Because you know that there are people who have less than what you have. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to put gratefulness out there. So even when you're meditating or you may feel like um, you're having difficulty meditating, start being grateful the fact that you're able to sit there and breathe properly and take in the right amount of oxygen so be thankful for the fact that you have that oxygen to supply this body okay that's like i said this video pretty much is just me going off the dome with some things that um obviously i felt the need to share and that's why i'm sharing and expressing them to you right now my loves however i'm gonna end on that note just to say you know don't let anyone um infect you because that is exactly what um, that conversation was intending to do. It was like trying to infect my spiritual body, my spiritual being. Just like somebody who's coughing and hacking who has a flu is putting that, 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 those germs or that bacteria or those energies out into the air. So if, it, if, you, um, if you contract it, it's because it, it was able to penetrate your physical being. That's the same thing with someone sending you those negative energies. They are literally trying to penetrate your auric field. Penetrate your auric field. And they are trying to in infest your body with that sickness. And I'm like, hell no. No, 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 no. Not going to happen on my watch. So, <laughs> yes. So, that's why today I just have been on my feng shui. And that's what I'm going to talk about in the next video. So, loves, I appreciate you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you for your love, your support. Um, go ahead and you can place any comments about <clears throat> some of your meditation practices, <clears throat> excuse me, that you may have come up with. You can also um, uh, leave any comments about, you know, some, some, some things that you had to transmute. Let's not focus on the negative thing. Let's focus on the positive that came out of that because know that everything is a lesson. And so how you deal with that situation is really whether or not you pass that test. I feel like that was um, almost like the, uh, the test out of some lessons that I had been dealing with, but that was a test. And, you know, I had to ace that test in order to move up to the next level. If we start thinking about the situations we go through with people in that manner, we would be moving on to our next great level so much quicker, you know, so, so much more expeditiously. All right. The word for the day, expeditiously. Anywho, like I said, um, I really do want to wish you guys a beautiful Sunday and for you to full joy your day, for you to full joy the people that love you and the people that you love and that you all are surrounded by nothing but a love bubble. That's what my heart's desire is for you. You know what I'm saying? And then for the people who don't get you, fuck it. Fuck that energy. Transmute that energy. Who gives a shit? Okay? <laughs> All right, loves. I love you so much. Thanks again for your support. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Knowledge Butterfly. And also check me out on Facebook. I do need to update it, but you still can see where I started. You know, where I, where I started from the bottom. Now I'm here. All right? Never bottom, but you know what I'm saying. Love you guys. Peace.